My father and I saw lots and lots of doctors before we came here, and they all said more or less the same thing, that there are no drugs for Alzheimer's disease. There's nothing that can be done. But this is 2013. Is there really still no treatment? Alzheimer's disease isn't easy to understand. The brain's a very complex organ. In fact, we've learned a lot about the causes of the disease in the last 20 years. What my colleagues meant is that there are no drugs that can slow down or stop the progression of the disease. There just aren't any. We do have symptomatic drugs, which can improve some of the symptoms, some of the problems caused by the disease, in a certain proportion of patients. Not all, about one in three. In particular, they help with attention disorders. Patients who respond to these drugs are brighter. They interact more with the world around them. They participate more in family conversations, in family life generally. They're not very effective on the memory, on memory disorders. Those are still there and continue to get worse. But an even smaller percentage of patients, around 5%, actually start doing things again that they had given up doing. It's true that we don't yet have drugs that can stop the progression of the disease after it's been diagnosed or after its onset in the brain. We still don't have drugs of that kind. We don't yet have drugs that can modify the natural progression of the disease. But we do have symptomatic drugs. They're available from pharmacies and they're of two types, cholinergic drugs and glutamate blockers. They act on two neurotransmitter systems which are particularly hard hit in Alzheimer's disease. Unfortunately, the disease doesn't affect only these two neurochemical systems. It affects a large number of neurochemical systems, and that's why it's so difficult to treat. It's not like Parkinson's disease, in which the damage is mainly to one system, the dopamine system. In Alzheimer's, a large number of systems are involved.